Uh, let's start with Saturday's Guardian. And the polls are suggesting Charles is seeing a surge in support, Diane. Yes. So uh, The Guardian says that uh, King Charles is enjoying a surge in support, but the backing for the monarchy as a group, uh, we don't think they're going to make the top ten this year, so they might need to pump out a new album. That sounds like it. So uh, New material needed. Oh, yeah, definitely. Get that notebook out, chaps. <laughs> so 63% uh, believe that King Charles is so far doing a good job, which is great. He's barely... I mean, he's not really technically in the job yet, is he? I mean, well, he, he is. hasn't had the coronation. I mean, on, on the passing of, of the Queen, he mm. becomes king instantly. Ah, oh, yeah. right, OK. And, but, and then we have the coronation. Yeah, the coronation, right, this see. will be the, the official anointing, but you, you're instantly king. He's already shaking awesome. hands, he's out there. He's got it. He's doing, he's... All, he's doing the waves, he's doing all that. He's got the waves Yeah, has he down. invaded any countries yet? I don't know. Yeah. expect a king list. to do Some isn't colonialism's he? coming. He... Where does he start? Take back France, maybe, just as a warm-up? <laughs> The palate cleanser. Start with Calais, see how that works. <laughs> so, Who wants um... Calais? Have you been there? <laughs> Bit of a toilet. Oh! Apart from the cheap booze. Well, I was going to say, I mean, you can do quite a good few booze cruises. When nice you... to see you're on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid so, just a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, Diane, it's, it's interesting, isn't it, that this last few days seems to have provided a resurgence in support and popularity of the monarchy? Well, uh, it would appear that way. But according to this article in The Guardian, there is also a growing report for the Republican movement. Mm. Um, and they have enjoyed a surge in support as well. Um, uh, but obviously, they're sort of the, the larger groups that have been on this for a while. They're like, we're going to wait and we're going to be respectful because we appreciate that people are mourning. And then later on, they're going to sort of bring out some marketing campaigns. So essentially, um, the overall popularity of the monarchy is actually down to 55 percent of people. So just over half the people who were questioned sort of think that the monarchy is... And this is, is from thing. The Guardian. Was this a, a poll of what just a, Guardian journalists? What a shock chance. horror. The Guardian wrote a thing about republicism. Yeah, they did. I know. Well, look, we I mean, look, we can't scenes. argue with data. It's, it, look, mm. The numbers, you it know... It, it, well, right. well, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs> yeah. But look, if, if, it's a, if it's a comprehensive poll, then that's quite interesting yeah. and maybe quite surprising. And also, well, this is it's three groups that they're saying. It's young people, mm -hmm. um, it's um, ethnic minorities... And it's also Scotland. Less than half of Scotland actually believe in a monarchy or that mm. we should continue with a right. monarchy. So that I can only see those groups and other people uh, increasing in those, in those statistics. But also it all comes really down to King Charles's behaviour yeah. over the next week. We've obviously had Pengate over the last uh, right. week as well. So we've had these... Mo and it's interesting how some people argue that that's... Uh, the narrative they're trying to sell is, no, it's him being human. He's just a human. Look, this is him being more relatable. But the thing is, we don't want really anybody that's relatable. I don't want Correct. a human. I want this. I want that figure. I just want someone who's a stoic, on the stamp, doesn't move. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what you want. Yeah. That's, well, so, that's the whole point of it. That's, almost fictional. A sort of abstract that. leader. Absolutely. Because... The, because I think that it's all a little bit ridiculous, this idea... Like, when you think of it in, in any kind of intellectual sense, the idea of it... Well, this is headliners. Let's not get carried away. All right, well, but, but, but I do also think that the, the monarchy brings a lot to the UK and is part of our... You know, obviously, it's a massive part of our institutions and tradition and all of that. So, but when you do sort of break it down, the idea of this human being being born into this world and what they're meant to represent, then then that's his job now. So to actually, embody with it. his little tantrums about the pen, it sort of pricks the bubble a little bit for you. That it, it kills the mystique. He got that pen and popped well, the bubble. We yeah. have to remember that this is the first time we have had uh, the change of our monarch with social media and the mm. internet, yeah. and our lives, all public people and their lives are heavily scrutinised, yeah. um, and. The monarchy is composed of not just one person. And so uh, this article does go into the idea that perhaps uh, Prince Andrew and also Harry and Meghan have led to uh, the popularity of the monarchy dropping. Yeah, but I mean, oh, look, look, there's obviously been a bounce back, but what we're really going to see, and nothing's going to really happen until the coronation, and then I guess we've got a year or so to see how King Charles behaves. But, the, and it, you're absolutely right, it is like the social media, how you can zoom in on these little clips. But 
what seemed amazing to me, and I really thought his speech was really beautiful, and yeah. I thought he delivered it well. I think his composure and what he's going through, his losing his mum, that's hard. But to not to not understand that if you're signing something that you're on television and people will zoom in on these things, like that's the moment you've got to control yourself. Like I'm aware now I'm on, I'm on TV and that any little part can be edited. It's not it's not going to be hard for people to make me look like an idiot. To be fair, uh, but. How he isn't aware of that, that's what's slightly scary. If he's not sort of in that moment... You, going, you think it's a worrying sign that our new monarch is 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 not self-aware at, or is almost too, well, human, I don't understand. too human for the job? Well, so, well, someone who's been in the public eye literally his whole life mm. to not understand the rules of the game now, that every little thing that you're going to do is going to be sort of deconstructed and what... It, well, do you know what? Perhaps he'll learn on the job, you know, and, and maybe, you know, he'll just... He'll, he'll. Yes, he's been Prince of Wales and in training for this role for decades, mm. but now the spotlight is on him. Maybe we just need to give him a few months to settle down. And also, don't we want to cut him some slack given the fact that he's mourning for his mother? He must be exhausted. Yeah. He's probably had no sleep uh, as well. All, all of those factors, Also, I, by the way, another thing to point out, I'm not sure he knew that he was on camera at that moment. Yeah, but... I, I think he did know, or he should have had advisors around True, him. He's signing said, a major document. Yeah, it's a big... That's Oh, but, I'm but, now king, and this is my moment. Well, much more important question, which mm. is going to divide opinion here. Um, are you an owner of a fountain pen? Oh, yeah, ab- absolutely. I'm all about the fountain you, pen. You, are you serious? Or are yeah, you, yeah, of course I am. Are you pulling my leg? Rally, do you not remember the vector pens? Oh, I do. From the 90s. Yeah, Parker. Big, yeah, Parker vectors. They were a big deal back in the day. Right, so Diane, are they all fountain pens? They're all fountain wow. pens. You see, this uh, I actually have. This one is if I need to write something quickly, and I don't mind losing that one. This one, <laughs> solid as a rock. This one, oh, I bought for fun. Uh, I love it, and I've got a really beautiful one that my in-laws gave me that I only use like in my writing book. Are I you love sure fountain that pens. one of them isn't sort of a James Bond spy pen that will just sort of jab me out? That's Punches. that one. Oh, that's that one. That's, that's why I love that's it got so much. In it. Okay, <laughs> now, Diane. <laughs> Not only are you a great comedian, you're a great actor as well. Would you like to recreate the moment that Prince Charles's pen leaked and he lost his temper? Ooh. Have you I seen the video? I have not even do the seen nudging. this. What? I've oh, not seen oh, that. Oh, well. it it's Josh, down to take, Josh. Take, take my pen. Can I do the nudgy? Can I do the two videos? Yeah, please. Yeah. I'll do the two. First so of all, there was, the, there was this thing here. So he's just... So him standing not, up. I'm watching this for the first yeah, time. Yeah, so there was a thing there and he's sort of about to sit down and then he's just like... Just acting. What's Come that? on! I'm What's right-handed. That? He's just he's just sort of going. Because what he didn't want to say anything, but he's he like, just ge- like gesturing. The thing. So that was the so first. So he's like bit. this. So he's basically like, "Come on, mate! Like, like I've got that. a thing here." And what, that was like a pen holder. Or <laughs> that a was a pen. Case. Like, why why would you put the pen holder here when I got to sit down and I want to put my and elbow? In up. fairness to him, there wasn't space for for him. No, but there wasn't space. So fair enough. Like someone messed up there, or someone should have thought that little step ahead. So but that he was, was still a bit like. Right. But rather. So so he's him, doing this. He's just going like, come, rather than him just picking up and just pushing it to the side, he was just like, yeah. All right, then. So that was pen gate one. That was pen gate one. And then this is the other one that I've seen quite a few times and zoomed on on it just because it's a, it's a sort of, it, so then it sort of it reappears or it's there enough. And then he's just like, he, he does this. What, like of, this again? Yeah, but it's like more teethy. But he must be writing with it. What no, is no, he... no, He because it was just like, I think he'd finished with the thing. It hadn't gone fully enough. He was like, now he was going to get down to business. And then he was just like... Like, there was a lot of teeth. I can... Can you watch it? Wow. It's quite... It's so a pen, little bit... The pen came in. Uh, but do you know who rescued the situation? Queen Camilla, who calmly took the pen off him and she sat down and she signed it and that's why... <laughs> that's why she's the Queen Consul. <laughs> that's it. And they're going to be a great, great partnership, let me tell you, for... for, uh, for uh, um, absolutely no doubt in my mind. And uh, actually, I'll be talking about Charles in my Big Opinion monologue on Mark Dolan tonight, tomorrow at nine. And uh, yes, he's going to make mistakes. Yes, he's human. Yes, he's learning on the job. But I believe he will be a great monarch. Find out more of my views on King Charles at nine o'clock tomorrow. And I won't be influenced by that rather uh, eccentric <laughs> Josh Howie. I've, Who, by was, the way... That Josh, was some great acting. I it was, can I say it was very, very... It was very compelling. The only, the only thing is that... If you're going to be, be on television, right, national yeah. TV, do you not think you tuck your shirt in? <laughs> As you know, I'm feeling I've got a bit of a stomach issue today. <laughs> well, this you... is the, the, I, do you think the myth of television was like busted? Then? Yeah, a lot of people thought of you as this, uh, you know, professional anchorman type. You know, this up to my weight. This part here, like everything goes down. Professional, professional. Ah, then it's all it goes pear shaped. Oh, let me point. tell you, under that desk, <laughs> it's a sight for sore eyes.